Yo-yos are great fun, as I'm sure you know. And you might think they're a toy that's been around for a long time. Well, they have been around a long time. They seem to have been known in ancient Greece and uh, Egypt, but not as a toy. In fact, the modern yo-yo seems to date from the Philippines, where as uh, early as the 1500s, it was a weapon, weighed two kilograms and had a six meter cord that was used for fighting. As a toy, it seems to have reached America in 1929, where the famous toy maker Louis Marx brought it in and uh, made it popular. Well, what were people playing with if they weren't playing with a yo-yo last century? Probably with Diabolo. And that, as the name suggests, is devilishly difficult. It was a bit like the yo-yo, it had a string, but it was strung between two handles like that. And Diabolo itself was a piece of turned wood like that, very much like an hourglass. Two conical sections joined at the point and uh, very symmetrical in design and weight. And Diabolo was difficult because you balanced it on the string, which was okay as long as the string was held upright, it didn't fall off, but as soon as you pulled the string apart, Diabolo did. It became unstable and tumbled like that. The trick was, to do anything with it, you had to pull the strings apart, and to make it stable, you had to get it spinning. You got it spinning by rotating Diabolo by lifting one handle and then the other. Once it was spinning, it was more stable, and you could flick it by stretching the string and toss it from one string to the other, etc. I've been practicing, I can't do it. It's very, very hard, but it's good fun. And if you want to make your own Diablo, there are some tricks to it. There are not many conical things, to tell the truth, that uh, end up being makeable into a Diablo. I tried with two funnels by cutting them and joining them. But just like that, they're really too light. So I stuck some cardboard on the ends of the funnels and filled them with sand. That's not awfully satisfactory. The slope's too great and it falls off and before long it bursts and spreads the sand around. So probably the real Diablo is a bit difficult unless you know a wood turner. Nonetheless, you can practice with a sort of poor man's Diablo, which is very good for getting you going. And all you need for that is really a couple of cotton reels. Get the plastic sort. They look like wooden cotton reels from that end, but they're hollowed out from that. And to make them heavier, get plasticine and sort of scrudge it into those hollows until the cotton reel is completely full, at least on those outer chambers, not the hole in the middle. Once it is, you can attach the two of them, both plasticine filled, by shoving a pencil into one, like that, gluing it if it's loose, shoving the other cotton reel onto the other end and making a sort of dumbbell like that. It doesn't have the cone shape in there, but that's not really necessary to start uh, learning what you're doing. In fact, the finished article is very much like this. This is one. Two cotton reels, pencil in between, and plasticine in both ends, making it heavy. You can see that if I put that over my string, like that, and lift it up, it's a bit easier to control because it doesn't fall off until the string gets out quite a long way. So you can practice the business of making it spin and getting a spin from one side to the other and when you're ready, you can start tossing it about. But I warn you, it's harder than it looks. That's Diablo.